off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hey you guys I am doing something super fun today How is this my profile in his car? <laughs> when was that my profile? I'm having to move Jason's car so I can go somewhere. But there's no way that's my <laughs> my seat. I'm going somewhere that I, I'm doing something that I've never done before. But it's going to earn me a lot of money, pay off part of my surgery. Oh dear, I'm a little too close to the bush. Don't tell Jace. I didn't hit the bush. Move my car out. Okay, and then put his in the garage. Okay, now I'm in my car. There's a bug on me. What is that? There's like a little bug on me. And gone. All right. I'm a little settled now. I am going to donate plasma today. For the first time, my sister has been like trying to get me to donate plasma to earn money for a very long time. Also, it's like good because you're giving to the medical community and the people who need plasma. Get my plasma now. Um, so if you didn't know, you can donate plasma and you earn money by doing so. The tricky thing with this, there's two tricky things. One, you have to go often like I believe you need to go twice a week um, in order to like give a good round of plasma or something in like that hundred feet turn left on okay I have my directions set up I don't want to give away my address so it keeps saying all my street names so I keep I'll have to keep, I'll have to be quick because I need the directions on how to get there um but really quick so turn okay I just turned it off this isn't gonna be easy to do. I will get the address again when I need the directions. <laughs> um, so anyway, so you have to do it twice a week. This is the only week, um, day this week that I'm doing it. And then I'll have to like do it again in like three or four days. Um, probably on Monday I will do it again, but I haven't scheduled any of those. So I'm not really sure how that works. But then the other tricky thing for me is that it is 35 minutes away from me. There's only one location anywhere near me to donate plasma. Um, BioLife is the plasma place that I'm gonna go to. Um, and so it's a bit of a time commitment. And so this is kind of the first year that I've really been able to like dedicate the time to being able to go and do it. Today's um, appointment is two hours long, um, but it includes an hour long medical check-in type health appointment. I need to pull over here for a split second. What's I gonna do? battery my battery is flashing <laughs> hang on one second okay so this first appointment is two hours um, but after that it's only a one hour donation appointment and so for me it'll be a two hour time commitment each time I go so twice a week um, and the payments just to be transparent um, they gradually get better the more you donate for the month and so like there's always like these little um, you know incentive bonuses or whatever that they run and so for me my bonus um, again I'm just gonna be transparent just to see if you guys are interested in doing this um, my first appointments are 90 90 90 dollars and then it goes to a hundred dollars hundred dollars and then 110 110 up to like eight nine hundred dollars depending on how many I get to by the end of my month. Um, so, I mean, yes, it's two hours of my time, uh, but after a month, I'll have 900 bucks when I don't actually work full time <laughs> or part time or at all. So it's an easy way for me and I'm giving back to the community and um, I'm already a blood donor. I don't think I can do both. I'm gonna ask them. I actually have canceled or not signed up for two blood donation appointments that I could have gotten since my surgery. Um, I forgot to ask my surgeon about that at my last appointment. 
Um, but then I realized I was gonna do plasma, so I would rather do this right now and earn money to pay for my surgery because I have donated blood for 22 years. So I don't feel guilty missing a few cycles of donating blood because I'm now donating plasma. So I'm gonna take you along for that little experience in case you're curious, and or if you've done it before, give me any tips. I just had to Marco Polo my sister and ask her if, like, because there's certain things you can and can't do during the donation. Um, like, she, she can't, like, talk on the phone with me during her donation. Like, she, whenever she goes, she's like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I can't talk to you. So, now I gotta go. All right, just got down here, but I'm 20 minutes early. I just wanted to make sure I got to the right place and now I know the area there's a mall down here I used to go to um, so I know the area now and it'll be easy to come to um, so I'm going to hydrate myself they want me to have a lot of hydration before I go in and um, and then I'll let you know how it goes oh that's a no-go <laughs> very anticlimactic for nothing my blood pressure was two points too high just because it got really stressful in there it took an hour and 20 minutes just to kind of get this first process started and get like checked in and get like my vitals taken, like blood drawn, blood pressure, temperature. <laughs> so, and it's freezing cold in there. Um, and so by the time they checked my blood pressure, I, it was high. It was two points too high. So then they like make you wait for 10 minutes. So then it's like stressful and there wasn't anywhere to sit down and it's freezing cold and I had to go to the bathroom. And uh, so yeah, my blood pressure was too high. And so now I can't donate, which is just a bummer. I can check in online and make another appointment and try again. It's just, <laughs> this process will be faster once I do this first one, once I do this first like health check and get myself in the system and whatnot. But um, this first hour of it with this first visit is just, it feels like a waste of time and I know that they're doing all the things that they need to do. Um, I just have wasted now two hours of my morning. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back home. I don't really have any plans today, but Jason is home and he ended up taking today off because he needs to take tomorrow. He has to work tomorrow. Um, I literally don't have anything else to do today. I was wanting to do just this. <laughs> I was wanting to do just this. So I'll let you know later if I, if it ends up working. <sighs> and I'm kind of bummed. I really wanted to like start this process. I'm gonna check in online and see if I can make another appointment. Um, if Jason's working tomorrow, maybe I'll come back tomorrow. My blood pressure just goes up when I like get nervous at doctor appointments. It's never nervous. I'm never nervous when I donate blood because donating blood isn't like a nerve wracking thing for me. I don't know why. I don't know why this is different. I think it's just because I sat there for an hour and 20, hour and a half really, because I went in early. I sat there for an hour and a half, just kind of, not I wasn't stressed, but obviously like, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna see if I can get an appointment for tomorrow and I'll come back down here. Well, it's a new day. I was kind of bummed yesterday um, not being able to donate. So I got out in the car, I drove home, and I scheduled an appointment for today, very next day. I've had, um, a little bit of extra time this morning to kind of get the kitchen cleaned up. I loaded a few dishes for Abby just to get the dishes started. Kaylee is home so she can unload in two hours when that is done. She starts school, I don't know, I think it's in like a week or two, I forget. I'm going to, I guess that front door can stay unlocked for Abby. She'll be home from school probably very, very soon. I think I'm ready to go. We're gonna try this again. Oh, really quick. Let me just show you what I did yesterday. I didn't really feel like, it, it kind of got chaotic and Jason was taking a nap and Ashley was, no, Ashley wasn't home. Abby was home doing homework here at the table with her laptop just to do it in a different place. So let me show you what I did like probably like two hours yesterday afternoon. I juiced. So I did apple, lemon, and it's an AM cleanse so I had some this morning um, this is a pineapple cucumber juice um, you're supposed to like just actually blend it up um, and I did that and I just didn't like how much pulp was in it so then I put it through the juicer and got a lot of the pulp taken out so I know I probably got rid of a lot of the um, nutrients and I probably maybe did maybe I'll do it again and I'll have Jason use it in like his smoothies because the, the pulp in it won't it'll like 
meld into his smoothies better. That's our regular applesauce. This is what we're trying to work through in order to make apples again. Um, or ma make applesauce again when the apples come in season. This is a plum lemon mint um, shot <laughs> that you can take at night to go to sleep. I forgot to take it last night because I had already brushed my teeth and put my retainer in and it was like 10 o'clock and I wanted to just go to bed and not start that whole thing again. <laughs> so I'm gonna try that tonight. That sticky note won't stick to it for whatever reason. And then I made the same carrot, apple, lemon, and a few oranges in this juice. And that one is really, really good. I had that one for dinner last night. Um, I, I would have had it this morning, but I had this morning cleanse one. And then I had my protein milk and regular milk for my drink because I need to be really hydrated. I've already had a few sips from my regular um, Stanley, but then I'm gonna try and drink all of this. Goodness sakes, not the slip room. Um, on my drive down to my appointment. I am going early again just because I don't know what traffic is gonna do. There's a major construction going on on one of the side roads coming off the highway that is really causing havoc on a lot of traffic. So, sun is out. I don't even need a jacket. I didn't know the sun was out that much. Okay, I tried to listen to Hawaiian music on my way down here. I normally don't listen to Hawaiian music unless I know I'm going to Hawaii. So that was a big, that was a big thing for me to be able to do because it makes me miss Hawaii so much. I was also a lot looking at my heart rate on my watch. It probably wasn't a good idea. So wish me luck. I, I have a feeling my heart is just, it's going too much today. So I, I'm just too worried about it and that's gonna make it go high. So if this is a fail, we'll continue on my day. <laughs> And we won't do anything with plasma. Well, that was a fail. I'm gonna have to buy a blood pressure cuff. My doctors actually wanted me to buy one, to be fair. This is a lesson. We're just gonna get my health in check. This is just another. I've been talking to my sister a lot today and yesterday and the day before and took magnesium to help with my blood pressure. We need to get some bananas. Potassium helps your blood pressure. So I'm just, I'm gonna do these things and we're just gonna get my health in check. I no longer can do the month donation thing um, to get the deal that I signed up for because I have conflicts in a month, scheduling conflicts. So I can't do that last donation. It is what it is. We're gonna get my health in check. Then I'm actually going to meet with my doctor in a month, just over a month. And then that's part of my scheduling conflicts with donating plasma. I had to reschedule even my doctor appointment because of scheduling conflicts. So I'm gonna meet with her and we're gonna, I'm gonna take this month and check my blood pressure every day, multiple times a day and track it so that I can go to my appointment in a month and be able to tell my doctor, okay, this is what my blood pressure has been doing. Um, is it white coat syndrome? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Or do I really have a blood pressure issue? Which I, I don't mind taking medication for it if I truly have an issue, which is why I'm willing to track it. So we're just gonna go home and go on with the rest of our day. Okay, we are at, can't um, see you can't see you? No, bring you down. Put you down here? Yeah. Okay. We are oh, at Hobby Lobby. This one gets bored yeah, very lost. fast. What, what ones did you pick out? And then I'll show them what I got. We're at Hobby Lobby, right? Yeah. <laughs> I got these little like gummy bears that kind of bright. Gummy bear beads, right? Yeah, they're little gummy bears. They're cute. Yeah. Okay. And then there's like pink mermaid beads. Yeah, these ones are gonna be fun. I might actually have you do. That yeah. might be kind of fun. So she's gonna make me a bracelet. To, um, yeah. Hot, I like the hot pink ones that she has, that she did for Barbie. Um, but I'm gonna add her, have her add a little flip flop. Yeah. Just for fun. You know, I know it's going into fall, so I'll wear it next year. And then I got these little hearts mm -hmm. in different colors. And then for fall, I got myself some brown ones. So, and then just a box. And then she got a box because she has so many. And then we are gonna go. Do we still need to go to Target? We yeah. do, right? Yeah. Um, Is this velvet? I don't know what Dad. Why does Dad want to know when we're coming home? <laughs> oh, because he's hungry. We're gonna go get Domino's on our way home. Okay, so we go to Target really quick? Yeah. There's people that way. <laughs> um, we're gonna get a treat for, she's gonna have a late night. Is that your first late night? Yeah. 
not sleep over? No, because I'm not allowed. No, you're not. But it's okay, we can still have all the fun. Except for if we, I do sleep until 12, and it's technically counts as sleep. At home you sleep until 12, that's not a sleepover. No, but if I sleep there for like an hour and it's 12, that's technically counts as a sleepover. If you sleep the next beyond day. midnight, yes. Then she could count it as a sleepover. Okay, we, um, Chelsea's gonna meet with a friend tomorrow and take, go to Target. So we're gonna go to Target tomorrow. Yeah. Save the trip tonight because we wanna get some pizza. We haven't done pizza night in a long time. Because yeah, mom's trying to like be good with her diet. And there's also no movies for us to do. Correct. We could see if the mermaid movie is on so Disney still. Already watched it. I know, but dad hasn't. Dad hasn't seen it. Mm -hmm. The problem is my app isn't loading. So we have to go. <laughs> and it's, luckily Domino's is in the same parking lot. So we're just gonna walk over there and order a pizza. This is proof that Jason stalks my phone when um, I tell him I'm almost home. Because he did. <laughs> so that I can park in the garage and he can pull in behind me and go to work. I need you to repeat that. Literally what I just said on the, what did you just say? I said the tracker is super accurate. <laughs> no, you were tracking me. I did tell him I was coming, I was almost home, but he, he definitely tracked me. It's all right. I know you like to stalk me. I'm wonderful. I'm all that. Um, can you grab the pizza off the, show, off the back seat? No, I just have my hands full. No, you don't. You came out to help. Don't act like you're not going to help. Off the back seat? What side? That side right there. Thank you. Okay, we have enjoyed pizza. I had one slice plus one bite. <laughs> and then I had three of the, three or four of the little pretzel bites. Where did I, oh, I just put the leftovers away. But as I was putting the leftovers away, I decided to, I'm not going to drink that one. That's a morning cleanse. This is a gut cleanse. Maybe I'll have some of that one. But I'm definitely going to drink some of my night plum juice. Oh, my book just turned on. <laughs> I just got a new book today, Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney. Let me show you the book title. I'm also watching TikTok. Uh, Sometimes I Lie is what I'm reading right now. So, um, I just don't want it to turn on right now. But I'm gonna take a swig. You take like shots of the little plum juice that um, you take at night to help you be sleepy. So we're just gonna take a shot of this, probably like maybe a fourth of this cup here, um, and then I'm gonna head up to bed. And that, my friends, is what it feels like to be 45 <laughs> on a Friday night. Um, I'm tired, and I just wanna watch my phone, or I wanna go watch um, the new season of Selling Sunset, OC, something like that, is on, and then also Virgin River just did a new season, released a new season. So I've been watching both of those. Um, I think I'm one episode in on each of those. So I might just go and do that in my room. Um, we do have a full day tomorrow, so stay tuned. Join us. Bottoms up. That one's tart. I'm glad that there's a lot of lemon in that. I'm glad this one is not a um, a full cup. I'm just gonna do a couple swigs of this. That's is a it, lot. Is it a nighttime thing? This was the nighttime one, yeah. I'll have one. That's very lemony. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Night, folks. <laughs> yeah. It's got a little kick at the end. Well, it's just lemon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>